12 million dollars in renovations to a Sioux City Park officially opened to the public today along Sioux City's riverfront. That's right, KTIV's Connor Tread was there at the ribbon cutting ceremony on Chris Larson's part just in time for summer. And cut. Woo! After years of planning, fundraising, and construction, the city of Sioux City opened and dedicated Chris Larson Park. The planning on this project started back in 2015, and nine years later, here we are. We actually held six public input meetings. Uh, the public was very much involved in the planning of this park. Uh, and then from there, it was time for design, time for permitting, uh, fundraising. Grants and donations to fund the project totaled $6 million, and the city chipped in another $6 million. The park spans over 100 acres along the city's riverfront and boasts playgrounds, picnic areas, a splash pad, and much more. Now, while the grand opening wasn't scheduled until this week, over the past year, we've already seen people out and about enjoying the amenities of Chris Larson Park. I know there's been a lot of events on the yoga lawn so far this summer. The basketball courts are packed all the time. And the splash pad is fantastic. And, you know, on any day where the weather is appropriate, there's just boatloads of kids here all day. The traffic, while appreciated, did cause some issues when it came to finishing the park's landscaping. Sioux City's Parks and Rec Department was able to work around it, but it pushed back the dedication from 2023 to 2024. The park has been a victim of its own success. It's been so popular. People were wanting to use it while the construction was continuing. Um, we accommodated that, but it did create some challenges. People are flocking down here every day. I was down here at 1045 last night, and there were a lot of people down here even right before the park closed. I think it's a big hit with the community and everything, and uh, I think it'll only continue to grow. The park is up and running and ready to be enjoyed by the public. In Sioux City, Connor Trett, KTIV News 4.